SpongeBob. SpongeBob, it's dead eye. Ha <laughs> ha How are you doing, boys? Great. We just got through the tunnel. Perfect. <laughs> Here it is. Wait. We've been digging for six hours for a jar. Well, maybe there's some jewels in the jar. There aren't any jewels. What about gold? No. Rare antiques? No! Candy? N no! For crying out loud, the jar is see-through. And why would you think candy would be in there? A anyway, inside this jar is something greater than anything in the world. I bet it's a butter churn. No! It's the souls of the greatest chefs who ever lived! What? A long time ago, there was a chef named Juan. He was the greatest chef of his time. However, he also dabbled in the dark magic. And one day, he realized that when he dies, the world would be without his cooking. So he casted a spell that would put his soul and anyone who was worthy of Juan's cooking soul in the jar as well. So, how do we get Juan to come out? All I have to do is say a phrase, and then he'll come out and obey me. Not on my watch, did I? SpongeBob, you're too late. I command thee to come out and obey me. Did I? No! Wh what's happening? Only a chef worthy of one can command the chefs to come out. What happens if the person isn't worthy? He and anyone 13 feet by him will get sucked into the jar. I knew I should have stayed in my bed today. Let's get out of here! <laughs> Phew, well that was close. Yeah! Oh wait. <laughs> Finally, I found it. Soon the greatest chefs of all time will be under my control. I command thee to- Wait! Don't you remember what happens to someone who's not worthy of one? Are you saying I'm not worthy of one? Please, my cooking is amazing. Why just look at Johnny, he's loving my chum brownies. Ugh. Okay, maybe you're right. Well then I'll have to find a cook worthy of one. Karen, open up a file of chefs in Bikini Bottom that have a five-star rating. Here you go. One of these chefs has to be worthy of Juan, but which one? Can you believe it, Gary? I'm getting awarded Employee of the Decade. Next, there's Employee of the Century, and then Best Employee Ever. Meow. Thanks for driving me to work, Mom and Dad. Well, we wouldn't want our son to be late on his special day. Now buckle up. Okay, here I go. Congrats, SpongeBob. Thanks, Gil. Here you go, lad. Your Employee of the Decade Award. Thanks, Mr. Krabs. And everyone in Bikini Bottom, it is with great pride that I accept this award from you. And most importantly, I am gracious to say... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now get to work. Don't worry, Squidward. You'll have this award one day. Why would I want it? It's just a paper cup, Mr. Cramp, spray-painted gold. Oh, Squidward, it's not the trophy that matters. It's the joy of coming to work every day that matters. And don't forget about the party I'm throwing you tonight. I wouldn't dream of it. Okay, so it turns out that most of the chefs on the five-star rating are dead, so hopefully this guy is worthy. Hello? Um, excuse me, but are you Tom the chef? Absolutely. Perfect. Okay, just hold this jaw and say what's on this card. I gotta get 13 feet away from this guy. Wait, what do I do? 
Just hold the jaw and read the card. Well, okay. I command thee to- ah! Dang it, there's only one cook left who's received perfect scores. SpongeBob. Another end to a perfect day. Good night, Mr. Krabs. Good night, lad. SpongeBob, SpongeBob. Oh, hey, Plankton. Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Great, can you hold this jar and- SpongeBob, SpongeBob, you're gonna be late to my party. All right. Sorry, Plankton, I gotta go. Well, let's get to that party, Pat. Well, looks like we're going to have to do things the hard way. The party is great, Pat, but I better get home. Okay, pal, see you later. <laughs> yeah. Who's there? Huh, I must be imagining- No! Oh, what happened? Hello, SpongeBob. Plankton, I should have known it was you who tied me up here. Well, since you ignored me before, I thought I'd get your attention this way. Wait a minute, this is the legendary chef's jar. I didn't notice it before, but now I do. How did you know about the jar? I learned about it in school. Well, that means you know the phrase, so say it. Never! You can't make me say it! Oh, yes I can. You see that machine hooked to you? Whatever I say into this microphone, you say. Uh-oh. Let's begin. I, I command, command thee, thee to, to come, come out, out and, and serve, serve plankton. plankton! Oh, wait! No! No, Todd! I said to cut the blue wire! Wait. Dang it, Todd. I don't know where I am, but I'm getting the hell a bit out of here. Hello, Mr. Plankton. We are your humble servants. For now. What did you say? Uh, nothing. Two days later. I don't understand, Squidward. We haven't seen SpongeBob in two days. I'm sure he's fine. He probably just locked himself in his closet again. I hope you're right. Uh, where am I? Jill. Plankton, is that you? Actually, I'm Plankton's great 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 grandfather. Howdy, I'm Barry. That's not important, Barry, so be quiet. Aw. Anyway, I thought it was important. Barry, be quiet. Anyway, Plankton freed me and many others when he opened the jar. Now, since you're awake, you should meet your cellmate. Cellmate? That's rad, partner. What? Okay, the chum pizza's ready. Great, I'll just bring it out to table. Um, what is this? Chum pizza. I know it's chum pizza, but why are there extra spices on it? I'll have you know I won first place in Atlanta cooking contest ten years in a row with my special spices. Oh, that's funny. Well, I won the Minnesota cooking contest 14 years in a row with little spices. Quite the both of you. We'll have half and half spices. What makes you the boss? Because I am one. Wait, you're the guy who put all our souls in the jar. Well, that was stupid. Now you're trapped as Plankton's chef slave. Not quite. If Plankton signs this magical contract, we'll all be relieved of this curse. <laughs> okay, let me get this straight. So you got sucked into the jar with Deadeye, and now we're trapped down here? Yep, that about sums it up. Hey, it's my deputy! Deputy, help us! You gotta get us out of this jail! Oh, sorry. I kinda swore my allegiance to Deadeye. Why, you backstabbing traitor! And I think I gave you my kidney! Hey, Plankton. Yeah? The chefs and I were talking, and we don't think you're doing as good as you should. What? Listen, you have the world's greatest chefs here. I say you take advantage of that and expand the chum bucket. Hmm, go on. I'm talking about a chum bucket in every city in the whole ocean. You'll be rich. I like it. How do I do that? 
Just sign this contract and I'll take care of the rest. Well, the contract has never let me down before. Except for that time at the Bahamas. I'll sign it. Perfect. Hello, I'm Purge Perkins. Have you ever heard of the Chum Bucket? Well, you should've, since the Chum Bucket is the new craze. There's not one town in the ocean without the Chum Bucket. But if you don't believe me, believe these customers. Or should I say, Chumstomers? Chum is amazing! Chum really speaks to my inner soul. Chum? I hate Chum! Oh. So come on down to the Chum Bucket. First, no SpongeBob. And now the Chum Bucket is the best restaurant ever? Something doesn't add up. Mr. Squidward, tuck in your underpants. We're going to the Chum Bucket. But I don't even wear... Forget it. It's no use. We've tried everything. Wait a minute, we're sponges. Yeah? Hey, yeah! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It was that easy? <laughs> What's going on? Quick, over here. I think I see the exit. Hang on right there. You fellas ain't going nowhere. Ugh. Huh, I guess the bathroom isn't down here either. Mr. Krabs? Wait a minute. SpongeBob? SpongeBob, we've been looking everywhere for you. Uh, did Plankton clone you? No, I'm SpongeBob, and we don't have time for this. We have to stop Juan. Don't you mean Plankton? No, Plankton's just the puppet. Once Juan gets what he wants, he'll be unstoppable. Wow, everyone loves Chum. Just look, they're even making hashtags about it on Instagram. Great. Hey, by the way, I have a surprise for you. Really? What is it? Close your eyes. Oh, I hope it's one of those mugs that say best boss. That's weird. When I open my eyes, it's still dark. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I fooled you. And I bought a lottery ticket. If I get three ducks in a row, I win the jackpot. I now realize that isn't very relevant to the conversation. Hey, you can't do this. You have to obey me. Not anymore, since you signed this contract that I made using black magic. Dang it. It's the Bahamas all over again. The contract clearly states that you have relinquished command over us and we own all of your restaurants. I'll make tons of sense. What? You know, like 20 cents? Oh yeah, I forgot you were from the past. Money is worth way more now. Like how much? One pizza costs $12. What? How are these people not broke? Well, anyway, I'll still be rich. Not if we have anything to say about it. Chefs, attack! We're ready. Let's do this! Yeah! So, how do we beat him? If we destroy the jar, everything will go back to normal. Ha! Huh. The only thing I need to beat these bottom feeders is my quick wits, strength, and these bolt cutters. <laughs> that is it. It has been 45 minutes and we still don't have our food. I'm going to complain to the chefs. Me too. Where did this monster truck come from? Well, they look like they're busy. Maybe we should... Oh, no, you don't. No, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Whoa! Oh. It's over, Juan. Not so fast. Look over there. If you take the jaw off, a bomb will go off in Plankton's box. Hey guys, what's going on out there? I can't hear too good in this. Oh well, small loss. No! no! <sighs> Fine. Do any of you have any ideas? All we need to do is find something that weighs the same as Plankton. That way, we can switch them around and defuse the bomb in his box. But where can we find something that weighs the same as Plankton? Hey everyone, what'd I miss?
Hey, let me out of here. Let me out of here, I say. Careful. Got it. Okay, I've switched the boxes. And I got the bomb defused. Now let's destroy that jar. You got it, Mr. Krabs. No! Oh no, I have to take a selfie first. Wait, my lottery ticket! Duck! 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 I, I won! I won! I'll just take that. You've lost Juan the Italian. What? I'm not Italian. I'm... Well, I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye, Spongebob. Remember, I'll always be with you, right here. In my intestines? What? No, I'm talking about your heart. So, about me betraying you? You're fired. Aww. So, now what do we do? I think I have an idea. Hello, I'm Purge Perkins, here again with big news. Mr. Krabs has used his lottery-winning ticket to buy all the chum buckets that were previously owned by Sheldon J. Plankton, who will be serving time in prison. I'll be back! Oh. Also, Mr. Krabs will be turning all the chum buckets into Krusty Krabs, putting the Krusty Krab across the ocean. SpongeBob, I never realized how lost the Krusty Krab was without you. So here. Wow, a trophy! And it's made of actual metal! Yeah, the ten bucks I paid for that trophy is coming out of your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. It wasn't easy, but I got the chum patty, sir. The one made from the best chefs. Excellent. Put it on the machine. Now that I have the patty, I can make clones of it. You've done well, Agent. But... <coughs> no one must know of my plans. Meow, 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 meow. Stupid hairball. So, what did you guys think of the movie? Hey, where did everyone go? Oh, they left? What? Why did they leave? I didn't know there was a post scene. Oh, well why are you still here? My legs fell asleep. Get out. Okay. Maybe I should start telling people that there's a post scene. <laughs>